okay? Let me be honest with you. Okay? Let me be honest with y'all motherfuckers. All the time I'm getting kicked out of places and kicked around like a paper plastic bag and kept me coming back wishing cancer on these people, cursing them and cursing them on YouTube, hoping they will meet me on the streets and try to attack me so I can legally shoot them, stuff like that. All this hatred I got against these businesses. When I, when I wish cancer on people, there's one cure for that. There's one thing that could change my mind, to make, make me chill out and not wish cancer on these people. If I could, there are a few times when the, I got kicked out, I could stomp the shit out of the guys who are making me leave, kicking me out. If I could, if I could beat the fuck out of one of them with my two fists and put them, put them on his ass on the ground, maybe he had to take a trip to the hospital, maybe break a nose, break, break a jaw, knock out a few teeth, give him a few black eyes, and I leave him of my own court. Yeah, I don't mind getting arrested and doing time in jail. If I could only beat the shit out of one or two guys or three guys in these places and seriously damage them. Not kill them, but beat the fuck of them. Give me some dignity. Give me some fear. Fuck respect. I don't want I don't want your respect. I want your fear. If I could do this a few times, I would chill out. But it's kinda of hard when my body's old when I got my mind has the power but my body ain't got shit. All y'all females out there, you could probably beat the shit out of me in a fight. I'm so decrepit my body's so decrepit and I'm angry. Right now, businesses that keep me out, I'm letting you know right now, if I ever get the opportunity to smash the windows or that one business, they keep me out. They made this mistake not of not locking the door one night. So I went in and stole some stuff from them. If I've never personally beat somebody's ass, a guy, not a female, not a female, I wanna be the I wanna be a strong, tall guy, a strong guy, or strong short guy. If I could just one time or a few times even just one time, if I could beat the fuck out of him and hand his ass to him, if I if I could fight him and hold my own, and then people have to think twice before they kick me out because they are afraid I might beat somebody's ass. Even if I and if I go to jail, I go to jail. I don't give a shit. My only objective is to beat. If you're gonna kick me out, if you're gonna persecute me for measuring arms, if I could, if I could hurt somebody, put them in the hospital, or just beat, break their nose, break the, make, knock a few teeth out, break their jaws, that would be, make me happy. Now, if I could get attacked by a bouncer, and I found a, a weapon, uh, what you call, opportun weapon of opportunity, and I could pick the weapon up, and cripple the bouncer, incapacitate the bouncer, even if I go to jail, I'd rather go to jail and cripple the bouncer and bust his head and hit for the rest of his life he have headaches and have to retire from being a bouncer because he has constant headaches. If I can do this to a bouncer, uh, not just anybody, a tough bouncer, a tall, muscle bound bouncer. If I I mean not just any not not a count, not a kind bouncer who doesn't like to fight. If I could do this to a bouncer who likes to fight. If I could permanently hurt them, I'd feel good about myself. I wouldn't, and then if I got kicked out of the place, I wouldn't care. But places would be afraid to kick me out because they'd be afraid I might kick somebody's ass. Let me, let me, 
keep let me stomp a few ashes to the first four places that kicked me out. And then if I get kicked out of other places, just knowing that I could put somebody in the hospital through a rage would make me not, I would be able to chill out, I would be able to take it in the stride and leave and not care that I got, I got kicked out. Right now, as a, being the loser that I am, I seriously want to hurt a few guys to get my self-esteem and dignity, which I never had. But if only I could get my hair transplants and be a good looking guy for a little while, uh, a good looking guy from now on, even if that's only a few years, if I could only get my hair transplants. My arms are growing, I think. Every time I measure a female's arms, I, my now the girl the longer so hopefully I won't have to get arm making the surgery. But if only if, we, if only all motherfuckers was getting my hair transplant. A hair transplant, the proper hair transplant, make me look my, like my Photoshop with the bow with the hair part in the middle. That boyish look, not manly look. The boyish look. If you only get, if you only, if I could only get my hair back, I wouldn't even. I'd be willing to give up my dream to beat somebody's ass who kissed me out of a place. Screw respect. If you respect me, that's good and dandy. But somebody goes telling you a lie that I did something that I didn't do, they lose their respect for me. They don't respect me anymore, even though I did nothing. Somebody told a lie on me that I did some evil, which I didn't do, they lose their respect for me. But let me tell you something, bitch. If you're afraid of me, if I do something evil against you, or, or something disgusting, you're going to be more afraid of me. So, fear is better, in this case, than respect. Fuck your respect, give me fear. But really, just give me my hair back, and I'll be happy. Just let me be a good looking guy. Just let the girls think I'm a good looking guy. Those knock club, those hot knock club chicks. The tall, long arm, knock club, light club chicks. Those stuffy, self-confident, noses in the air. Those chicks, if, they, if I can, if you can get me through cosmetic surgery to get, be hot to those girls, I don't need anything else. Well, Jesus, I hope I got him. But you know, just let me be a good looking guy. And I'd be willing to get kicked out of a bunch of places and not be able to fight them. But until I'm a good looking guy, I want to get my body in shape. One day, I'm be, I'm 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 beat somebody within an inch of their life and put them in the hospital. If I go to jail, I make bail. I'm sure they can't put me in for so for so long. I'll get out one day. But when I get out, I I'll get out of jail. I'll go to jail jail with my head held high. And I come out with a and I'll come out with some self esteem. And if somebody and if one of those people who hate white people, one of those black people who hate white people, or one of those white people who, uh, yeah, one of those black people who hate white people, or a white person who hates me, wants to make me his bitch, I play along, but we'll be, but the motherfucker has to go to sleep sometime, and then, if they give us pencils, I take, I'll save my pencils, when he's asleep, I'm going to take the pencils, And I'm, I'm gonna go creep up behind, uh, jump on top of him, and dig those pencils into his eyes, and rip his eyes out. If he can't see me, he can't hurt me anymore. Then I'll put me in solitary confinement. That's fine. I'm too good for those, uh, those uh, a bunch of hard dick guys in jail. Most, 90% of them are not beneath me. They're 1% of them who are good, people who are as good as good as better than me. But like this, let me tell you something. You try to make me your bitch in jail, I will. If I had to use my fingers, you gotta go to sleep sometime. And when you do, when I hear you snoring, I'm re I'm dig my finger into your eyes 
and I'm gonna rip the, I'm gonna hold on like a, uh, like a rodeo. And I'm gonna rip the fuck out of your eyes. I'll keep doing it until they put me in solitary confinement. And after I rip his eyes out, if he's still fighting, he can't see me, I'll find something. I will, I will beat that, I will beat him within an instant of his life. If only I was a good looking guy, that's all. I'm sick and tired of being a loser, and now I'm ready to hurt somebody. Step on a few heads to be a winner, unless I can get my hair transplanted. Do you understand me? I mean business. I believe in Jesus. I believe I'm a Christian. My Uncle Mark was the same way. My Uncle Mark, he was saved when he told us this. He was born again. He's like, if you, if you go to prison, the first thing you do is find the biggest, baddest, the toughest. You, you find the person that everybody gives cigarettes to. You find every you find the person that everybody bows to. And you beat him within an inch of his life. But you gotta be fast. You gotta be you gotta know what you're doing. But you beat the fuck out of him. In prison, Mike makes right. And even out of prison, it's the law, it's the jungle out there. It's the law of the jungle. Mike makes right, survival of the fittest. <laughs> and if I could, if I could beat the fuck, if I could beat the fuck out of a few of these guys and seriously hurt them, People start. People were leaving me alone. Girls would complain. He tried to measure up my arm. Oh, just, just ignore him. Just say no. Just say no. He that he just like this. That he's retarded. But don't just let him. It's not worth it to get him angry. Is that really? I don't give a fuck if people like me or not. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a good. I don't give a good goddamn. I just want to be happy. There ain't nothing in this world I lost. Yeah, they took the places that my childhood had been taken away from me. There's nothing beautiful left in the world. In this world, so I don't mind taking from you what you think is beautiful. If I can't be happy, no, neither can you. If I have any say so, you goddamn motherfuckers, just give me my hair transplant and I'll be happy. Make me do a good-looking guy. And if I can't have this, I will not give up on this. I will die trying to be a good looking guy. I will waste my life if I cannot be a good looking guy. And fuck that and fuck it and fuck this shit too, you stupid fucker. Son of a bitch.